Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to Watcher of Realms. Today I'm going to go over Gwendolyn. I'm on the test server. Obviously, as you can see on the brand new, um, what is called watermark that they've added to the test server. It looks, looks very bad actually for the video, but whatever. We're going to still do the review for Gwendolyn. She's going to be a guaranteed for 250 summons coming uh, Christmas, around Christmas. Should be next week, all right? So Gwendolyn, is she worth going for for the 250? We're gonna see it in action now. Um, she does have a cinematic, so might as well have a look at that one. When you get the summon, you'll see this, so you'll know it's her. Um, they always put in the work with it, these cinematics, and I, I do enjoy it as being part of the the summoning process and and the excitement when you see a a cinematic that you like and you know beforehand you're extra excited for the summon. Uh, her own cinematic doesn't look that amazing for what I for what it seems um, I went over her kid. I've tested her, her already. I have my thoughts on her I honestly should downgrade her a little bit more on the website warcodex.com, but for now um, You guys can also be the judges, right? So here she is with 60,000 power her stats overall look okay all right her stats overall look okay she's got a wide shield that she can provide and her shields is where it's at okay i fully skilled her up and the way that she works is that she provides a shield through her default basic attack and that shield um when it expires it does something okay that's that's the idea behind Gwendolyn. so the first passive she does when the shield is gone, the targets restore 10% of their max health. So the idea is that her, her shields are not necessary, don't necessarily have to be huge, okay? Even if it's a small shield, when it expires, it's going to heal the ally for 10% of their max health. This means that that ally will be, you know, um, surviving a lot. This can help you in tons of situations where your, your one ally will be getting hit a ton. Um, especially before gear a 19s um, usually you can do something uh, like that with her i will not say that she's better though than something like a vortex but anyway um this is one part of her passive the other part is when shields of the allies are gone deals damage equal to 15 percent of gwendolyn's vax hp to up to two enemies around the allies and inflict freeze so the, this freeze is very weird because this is not that strong it's a 0.5 second freeze it's not as strong as let's say the mari freeze so for gear rate one you'll see on an action that it doesn't do that much in terms of controlling the enemies and and stopping them from hitting the wall and then finally her ultimate ability it's a thousand cost 700 starting cost when you fully skill it up so this grants a big shield to the one ally to equal to 80 percent of gwendolyn's max health max health currently for my gwendolyn is about 50k so it's a solid 30,000 shield, I guess, um, a little bit more. Each of the surrounding allies also gains a shield half of that strength. The shield strength will be affected by healing effect, so that can be even bigger based on healing effect that you give her. I didn't give her much healing effect, to be honest. The way I've geared her was mostly health, okay? Um, 50,000 health and then um, some attack for dropping her four second attack interval, okay? Her attack interval is quite long. Um, honestly, I should maybe try her with attack speed. Now that I'm saying it, I'll probably do this um, for the video. I'll, I'll put an attack speed amulet on her just for testing purposes um, because um, I just want to see how that works instead. So we now drop our health to 47,000, but our speed is at 2.3 seconds, a little bit better. But with 400 speed, I expected her to be a little bit faster. Um, I wish she was. Um, gearing overall was HP based and attack speed wherever possible if you can. The sets, specifically, usually we do invigoration on uh, supports in order to give that attack bonus to our attackers, okay? That's how it goes with her. Um, in terms of anything else, should you skill her up? She does have basically three skills. Each of them needs four skill ups, so I think she's cheaper in, in the sense of total skilling up than other heroes usually um, cost, all right? They usually cost about 10 skill books, skill crystals. But this one, it's 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 on the lower end, so that's good. But again, there's many more heroes that you might have that are worth it. So, uh, with that in mind, let's go in into Gear Raid 1, where I wanted to test her, because Freeze is where, where it's at. You want to see if Freeze actually helps you in there. So, we'll go in there, and we'll see on how how useful that freeze is again 
your hero needs to get attacked in order for the freeze to happen. So the usual strategy is using an abomination here, then using a healer right there, and she'll be shielding abomination right there, okay? Um, I'm not going to place in my mage DPS just yet. I just want to see the freeze in action if it's possible. So we are already getting hit there. You see the shield breaking, okay? And every time it breaks, it, it just slows them down a little bit. But where he stands at the moment, he only freezes these two enemies that hit him that he basically blocks, okay? Um, melee heroes only, melee fighters only block two unless very, very much specified. So, so here, um, the, the shield is okay. It's keeping him alive. I mean, that is strong, but now it's going to be the real test of, on whether she'll be able to keep him alive through these guys here. These guys do tremendous amounts of damage, and the more they are in there, the, the more it hurts. So, so far, it's looking like it's keeping him alive just because of that 10% max health when the shield expires. The shield doesn't have to be so big. It's that, it's that passive that does all the work. So, so far, it's okay for what I said, for, for just keeping him alive a little bit. But as you can see, he's slowly dropping with all of these enemies. But of course, I'm not, I'm not doing this properly. I'm not having a mage to slowly kill the enemies as well. Uh, I'm trying to see now if, if my comet, um, oh, it went through. All right, yeah, it was a, a little bit of an extended showcase. But let's do the same thing again. Basically, this time with a more proper um, strategy. I mean, my comet here. No power of dominance should be able to take them out. But still, this is like the strategy that you'll be doing anyway. So here we still don't need a healer, but I'm going to drop the healer anyway. The, the shielder anyway. And uh, have a, a look at how this does. He is dropping quite a lot. But let's pop uh, some ultimates. If we pop that ultimate, he gives a huge shield onto him plus onto Kamet. So that is fantastic. And Kamet went ahead and, and starts hitting on the boss. Uh, but that's fine. And uh, I just want to see if she could be enough in terms of just the healer, right? Um, just giving the shields all the time. I'm getting a little bit of a heal from the Lores there, which is nice. So here I would do Laurel as an example. Just to give me more rage. And then I would pop the big shield. Um, it's looking okay looking okay so far then i would drop something like uh mole to drop their defense when he's attacking so already like this this is doing as expected it's it's doing some work um i mean i have two more deployable units i could have used but uh, I, i'm just seeing how everything looks at the moment in terms of her being a healer vortex is in there as an extra shield champion shield hero because i think he works to her benefit in terms of the passive because when his shields expire, he also helps with the freeze and um, with the extra heal in there. I mean, if I remove him, I still think that she'll be able to keep um, my boy Abomination there alive. So we'll see how that goes. Put in Laurel. Oof. Yeah, she couldn't keep Maul alive there, but it's fine. Now, this is the, the crucial part with the boss. Not staying alive. Ah, we couldn't stay alive there. Um, I still think... I, I don't think that she'll be able to be, like, the sole shield hero. The freeze that she does is 0 0.5 seconds, so it's not that amazing. It, it barely freezes the enemies. So, it's not that impactful. Um, so let's uh, let's quit the battle. What I do think is Gwendolyn will be nice if you also have Boreas. Boreas will probably be also in the 10x when both of them are out and available. But overall, um, I I don't uh, some bug. Overall, I don't think that she's just an amazing hero. Um, I think uh, let's have a look at the the ratings that I've given her on the tier list. Let me quickly pop that out on the website. Uh, we do have a tier list that I have updated based on my own uh, personal rankings. So what's the purpose of Gwendolyn? So what I think Gwendolyn is going to be like a, a great support hero to your other healer. She's not going to be there to be the healer for your team. Um, even for things such as guild boss, there's absolutely no use for her in there. She doesn't provide any utility other than just a little bit of damage. 
15% of her max health is very negligible in terms of damage in the grand scheme of things in, the, in this game because we've got heroes hitting for a hundreds of thousands, some of them for millions, and she'll be hitting for 15% of 50,000. So how much is that? It's it's just 7,000 or something, uh, plus all the defense and all that. It just doesn't make sense. Um, if her utility was there and, and she provided something more, then this would have been like a different discussion. Um, her awakenings provide just a little bit more shields, a little bit more health to her. It just looks like it's not a worthy hero for your summons. I would say keep your summons when the time comes. Don't go overboard and uh, consider other heroes epics that will do the job, especially Vortex, Hollow, also help in there. Um, in terms of legendary healers, I would say, of course, Halloween is the MVP. So with that being said, don't go crazy on Gwendolyn, guys. There are better ones. I will be posting another video. I will start recording it just now on Boreas, where the discussion is a little bit different, as I do think he is uh, worthy, maybe, of your attention. So thank you all, guys. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. On your way out, and I will see you next video. See ya.